Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday and we're going to work with some fabric scraps today. Um, I came across all these little purple ones so I wanted to make some kind of a little slow stitch piece and then we're going to make some snippets. So uh, snippet rolls, I think. I don't know. We're going to do stuff with fabric scraps. <laughs> So let's say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Melinda, Veronica, Lisa, and Kelly. Thank you so much for watching and your nice comments and everything. Okay, my uh, fabric scraps are kind of out of control. And so I just, I just want to get some stuff done with them. Let's see. This, this could actually i think i want to leave this little um hemmed edge at the bottom and just kind of go up from that is my thought this is just a skosh too big i think just a tiny bit too long so where's my scissors i'm just going to use my paper scissors it's okay and cut that off. Okay. Get rid of a few <laughs> strings. Always a lot of strings when it comes to the fabric. I think I'm gonna cut this down right about here. That's a little crooked too. Just put that there, okay. And there's this little polka dot one. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of fabrics here. I don't know, maybe. This is like little words, ooh, that's cool. I want to go like that. Maybe. Then this little one. I wonder if I could go right there a little bit. I could cross there. And then I have, there's this little lacy sort of a piece. I was thinking of going there. And then I have this. That's not really a focal point per se, is it? Hmm. What do I have? down here. I'm thinking focal point is really what I'm thinking and I could do the believe. That would be kind of cool. Let's see. I'm going to be making a scrap here because but I have a lot of these beliefs, so might as well be using them up, right? Okay, there's one for the scrap bin. And what if I put that just right there? Okay, I actually really like that. Oh gosh, my I'm gonna have to look for some other pins because my pins are over in my bag over there. I'm going to switch out my slow stitch bag to my new ink and think tote. Um, I really like that tote. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull that over a little bit. Okay. 
believe we'll get that on there. I mean, this could be this could be the focal point for a cover, but it also could be just a fabric flip in the journal. Hmm, that's a thought. Okay, just get them all pinned down so they don't so they don't be moving on me when I'm doing the stitching. I've had a few requests to stitch on camera. So I don't know, maybe we could do that. I'm no expert, not at all. I'm nowhere near like Rachel at Roxy Creations or anything like that. No, no, no. It's very basic, but even very basic, I feel like really makes a nice, a nice piece. Okay, now I'm thinking I might want some lace at the top, which I've got some some bits here. Mm, that's kind of that's kind of just about right. Except then it cover nope, it's too big because it covers up. Look at this bit. No. What about this little bit of tatting? Ooh, I like that. Let's do that little bit of tatting. Okay. Okay, that will go in my to be stitched later pile. But we used up a good portion. We didn't use up all the purple, but that's okay. Other projects can have some purple too. And I have another purple um, journal on my on my list of to-dos because I've gotten some purple ephemera from people and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so there's that. Let me get you up here. And we'll just get that stitched around. I'll see how how the videos go and I may do it on camera for those who have asked. Okay, so now, so now, okay, so I was going to talk about snippets. Um, I have some white fabrics that are good, great bases for snippets, but you can also use colored so I thought we might do a little of both today. And this one, I'm just going to clip it. And I'm going to make it into two because I'm thinking this is about the right size for a belly band. A little big. So let's just clip it down. <clears throat> Normally I do like a big long strip and um, and we may do that too, but um, these were just such a good size. I was like, yeah, that looks like a belly band waiting to happen. Okay, so I have my snippets here. I have some lace bits, and then I have this pile of all sorts of scraps. Um, I asked in another video, but if any of you all have good ideas for... Oh, those are too big. Where's my little ones? Oh, they're right here. Bag of little scraps. If any of you have a good I, good ideas on how to store your scraps, I would love to hear it. Cause, man, oh man, I just I don't know. It's uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where I'm going with anything. 
just going to go for it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, uh, at a loss as to how to store them and have them be, you know, be somewhat, I don't know, somewhat easy to access and see what you've got and that kind of stuff. I don't know. Well, this has, this was obviously ripped out of my quilter friends. Um, stuff okay enough of that now I think what I'm going to do is just use a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac on all, all the various pieces that I lay down just um, just to hold it a bit but nothing permanent, so I don't want a whole bunch. Um, I'm just going to lay my bottle on my glue thing. So I'm just going to put just a tiny bit and let those stick down. And then I, what I will do when, when this is done is I will sew like around the edge and maybe up the middle, squiggly or a straight line, I don't know. But um, that's, um, that's, how, that's how I do it. Now, these, like this, this kind of snippet, Rachel, that, I got this from Rachel, and um, she just put the fabrics together and stitched them, and that's another way to do them, but this one, I kind of wanted the all over, all over bits and pieces. So, I don't know. I'm just going to put a little glue on each one and stick it somewhere. I don't know why this one's turning out yellow, but it kind of is, isn't it? I'm going to grab a paper towel to wipe off my glue every now and again. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab bits. And get rid of a few of the threads. Okay, that's not gonna work. Putting that in there. Let's put it up there. Okay, I'm going to cover it. First, I'm going to cover it with, um, ooh, I don't know. This may end up being a fall one, which would be cool because I want to do a fall journal here pretty soon. Um, anyways, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to cover it with fabric and then I'll cover it with lace bits and whatever. So I'm thinking I want kind of fallish colors. This is like sorry silk, but I only want, ooh, that's good to underneath there too for fall. Did I say this was sorry silk? Uh, no, cantha scrap of cantha quilt. I don't know what I, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm kind of losing it today. I don't know what my deal is. Trying to get too much done today, I think. Videos, need to do an Etsy share. Um, and I really need to deadhead my garden and the rain has stopped. So I'm feeling like I should go do that. But I don't want to. I want to play in here. So, it's a problem. <laughs> I'm going to just... 
This has a bit of a, like a hemmed edge. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh yeah. Isn't that funny how, oops, that was, that was way too much glue, but was starting to bubble out. Um, it's funny how things kind of take on a life of their own. I'm just going to cut off that whole bit there. It's not easy. Uzi bowl. Okay. So, anyways, that's my dilemma. To deadhead or not to deadhead is the question. want to but it's nice out I should probably get my head out of my craft room for a little bit probably would not be a bad thing and Okay, let's use bits of this. Ooh. It's the back. Yep. 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 Yeah. Okay. Put a little dot of glue in the middle of each piece is all. Hope I'm somewhat on camera. I know I'm I'm working low because I have too many things in my way. Oh yeah, I'm way low. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll move up. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness. I seriously have issues. <laughs> Okay, let's put this one be up here, put this one, this one down here. And this one over here. Okay. And else do we have that's oh here's a piece of this maybe a few longer bits maybe we'll just do like three longer bits yeah I do love it how things just sort of tell you what they want to be the key is just to get started I find. Just about got her covered up. I don't like that because it's just the same as over there. Let's just do that. Okay. Oops. Gosh. My glue, I might have to stand it up, but then it's such a pain to get it going, you know? Okay. Yep, I'm going to have to stand it up. It's, it's wanting to bubble out. Okay, so then what else... Do we have as far as fabric goes? It's not bad. Probably. I mean, I don't know. The next one, we might try my glue stick and see how it does. 
it just has to stick a little bit just so it doesn't all fall off when you know when you pick it up to take it to the sewing machine Ooh. may have found something look at this i did i did i did find something And a little piece right there. And a little piece right here. Go like that. Strings off it. So my husband, bless his heart, had the great idea. We've both been freaking out a little bit about going to take care of our new grandson and Bucky, Leaf and Bucky. Um, we've been freaking out a little bit about it because we're so afraid that on the airplane we'll get, you know, exposed or something to COVID and even though we're vaccinated you can still apparently pass it along um even even if you are vaccinated don't have any symptoms so we're worried about that so my husband bless his heart he ordered some COVID test kits so we're going to test before we go and then, well, do I like that? It's a little too blah, I'm going to say. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, both feeling a little bit better about that. We're just, we're probably being overly cautious or nervous, but I mean... My daughter's kids, only the oldest one is vaccinated. She's um, 13, so, but um, the rest, our little guy who has diabetes, who's 11, and, um, and then the baby and Bucky are all too young. So, anyway, 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 we're going to, See if see if that <laughs> eases our anxiety any. Oh. Okay. And I'm totally good with these kind of sticking up on the edges and stuff. That's what gives it a little bit of um personality. Put that one down there. Okay. Get right about here. I'm kind of seeing those, um, seeing these edges here, and I just kind of want something there, but not that. It's too. Well, maybe it's fine. I was thinking it was too much like this, but this is a lot more open weave Let's see put a little bit of this on someplace and I don't know that I'm gonna put a um, a focal point on this but um, I'm thinking I might have I could have something in my um, fall bucket that could be like a focal point. Gosh, the words, they just don't come sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, look, there's another piece of that. I don't think it needs it anywhere. Um, I'll put a couple more pieces of this. It's 
So this doesn't really, I mean, actually a slow stitch piece does a little more in terms of getting your um, scraps pared down, but that's okay. We're making slight headway anyway. Um, I want something with fluffier edges. Oh, the sun's gone away. Maybe that's going to mean I don't have to do my dead head anymore. Can you tell? I just don't want to. I'm about to sneeze. I'm so sorry. I think it's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. There's just, uh, there's stuff in the air. Okay, you know, I think that's fine. I'm going to want some kind of, um, some kind of focal point. I have some fall leaves that might be kind of fun and then put something in the middle of them or something. So I'm going to set that aside and, um, We'll just, I'll sew around the edges and down the middle, and that'll be kind of ready, ready to go. So I'm going to put it on my sewing machine, and let's do another one. Let's do, let's do one on the patterned um, fabric, just for fun. I don't care that that's white, because, um... I think I'm going to just do the right size for a belly band again, only because it fits on screen really well. But just know that you can, you know, you could string this out and do the whole thing if you wanted to do like a snippet roll type of thing rather than, but I usually use them for belly bands. I have used um, thinner ones that were long. I have used those for um, closures on a journal before. So, so now I don't really have to use the fabric because it's we already have some sort of a background. So I might just put down some bigger laces over that. I'll go like that with that with that we have here let me do that at an angle okay let's try the uhu and see how it works I'm just curious see if it all falls off or if it sticks good enough we just need good enough really for this project And I already know that I can sew over you uhu just fine because it um, that's what I use for my journal cards and stuff. Okay, okay, so far so good. Let's see what we would like. Well, there's a little bit more of that. Ooh, this is pretty. do a little bit different type of one with laces. I like the um, I like the let's finish your sentence scale the green showing through the lace. I 
I should look, look at it in belly band length like that. Okay, definitely want something over here. You know what? Let's, except then that's not using up your bits, Gail. I was going to use some pieces from the little grab bag from um, Journey of Crafting. Ooh, let's put that there. This is a real fine um, vintage lace. Okay. Why do I want to? I, I just want to work on it this way. Okay. What else do we have that might be fun? This is fun little piece of antique lace. I guess it goes this way. That might, or do I want it to go this way? Because that, yeah. I did bring along my good old spatula for such things. Okay, I have this bit of eyelet that I really like too. Don't want to cover up that antique lace really, but I like that there. You know, it's just how it is when you layer. Sometimes you end up going over something that you like. It's still sticking out the edges though. Let's just gosh. I really do get myself in a pickle as far as stuff all over when I do things like this. I do, I do. I guess this piece it's stuck to my glue, so I guess it wants to go on here. This, I think I'll cut off this and kind of just even off those points. I'm going to allow myself to throw that away. That might be nice. Piece of something on there. Okay. I actually think a few pieces of fabric might be kind of nice on here. Just, uh, you know what I'd like? Oh. I think I'd like a little square that's got the pinked edges. So let's, I'm going to pink the edge over my basket here. That's good right there. Like that. Maybe a little more. Like that and there. Just do it. Don't think about it. Think about it. You could be here all day. I think the Uhu's working better and um, but what would we say more conveniently than the um, than the 
you know, Fabri-Tac. Gosh, I'm sorry, I just can't talk today. Look at there, that's a cute one. Peace. I'm going to do that. I want to just cover up that straight edge of that. Maybe just like that. Okay, need a little something over on this other side. What do we have? What's this? Got a little... Just going to snip this so that I don't have the red. Save that for something else. This is a the selvage of a piece. I think I could use something bigger there. I might put that there. But you get the idea of how it's different when you've got the color. Like, I want to leave that and let that shine through. I like that. Okay, I need another green. What do we have? It's not green enough. That's too minty. Ooh, here's one. Here is one. I think I want that up in that corner. Okay, first of all, this was ripped out of a quilt, so I need to get the edges off of it. And then something right there. I want that to be a little bit more of a square. Okay. Okay, and then let's we put another square right about here. And one down here. Yep. Go like this. Because I like this little edge. I don't want to cover that up. So whatever we do tomorrow, I'll try and get these sewn so I can show you. Um... But I might like a, some sort of a something right there. Um, let me look in this box. This was my grandma's box, this little tin. Um, I'm wondering about like a definition or something like that. Oh, yep. Yep, that's going to go right there afterwards. So I'm going to sew this, and then what I'll do is put this on and sew it around here is what I'm going to do. So that will be separate for now. I'll leave that box out. We might want it again. So I'll show it to you unsewn. Yes, good, good, good. Okay. Um, another way to use up some of these little ones. 
which because I feel like I haven't used a whole lot out of this basket, I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab some paper clips. And for the time remaining, we're gonna make clusters. Um, and just try and get some of these little bitty pieces used up, which will be great. And I could use, I, I find I use small ones more than big ones. So, so there's that. So we will just put these together. Here's a little piece of lace or something. So I'm going to stick that on there. I hope you can see okay. Maybe I'll zero in a little bit for this if I can. Let me see if I hold my phone. Sorry for the jiggle. There. Now you can see better. If I stay right under the X, I should be good. Okay, then what I do is just um, clip them and then I will sew these on as like a continuous. I'll just run them through. So there's one. Let's see what else we have. Some of these pieces could be, could be cut down a bit to be a base. There's a good base. I'm going to, with the pinking shears, cut this in half and again. And those will be good pieces to use, I think. Okay. Do that. What do we have here? Could maybe do just a little bit of that, peeking out the edges. And I don't care necessarily, like this one has the doily piece. I don't care necessarily that there's a piece like that because I can always use like um, one of these little flowers or something when I get ready to put it into a book. I can do that, right? So these aren't necessarily done, done, but I'm going to call that one good. And we're going to bust some of these out is what we're going to do. Um, that one's a bit big too, so I'm going to cut it in half. And... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. All of that. That and maybe that little guy on there. Yeah, and then I just make a big stack and it's super quick to just run them right through your machine is super quick. I'm going to put this one kind of to the side. I think I'm going to call that one good. Um, piece of silky stuff. It's kind of cool on the silky stuff. Could we use for a backing for that? Maybe just this. Okay. have any other little got that got that got this itty bitty this itty bitty this one these could be a Christmas one what could I use for a backing for that There we go. That'll work. Just a little Christmas one. 
um, little piece of lace. Here's some little pieces. They're drifting to the bottom, apparently. It's a good one. Okay. It's a good little good little bit here. That's fine. Be behind it. Yep, yep, yep. This is a little piece of netting. I'm just going to put that right there. And we'll clip it. And there's another one. Keep in count? <laughs> I'm not. So <laughs> let's see. Gosh, I don't I don't want to cover up that. So do I have a piece of something that's silk? Um So what if we put a little piece of something else behind that, like that? And then oops, kept the big one in left the one that I was cutting. I'm going to put that little piece of lace right there. Sorry, was I out of camera? Lace, this, this, this. I have been using quite a few of my little um, snippets lately, and so I'm kind of feeling like it's a good thing to be making some. Here's another little piece. That would look cute on there. Let's go this way so we can see more of it. Then we could do that. And I'm going to call that good. Three pieces. Three pieces is kind of nice. So hopefully this camera is working okay for this. This is pretty behind that. And would we like it? Put that little piece on there. I need a backing though. Um, I don't know. What would this blue look like? Yep. Okay. There's another one. Just a bunch of itty bitty bits. That's too small of a paper clip. <laughs> Easily go over. Okay. Okay, let's cut this guy in half. Make it two bases. I better check, see when I need to be done. About 10 minutes, right? Okay, so a little after, quarter after. Okay, so let's use those as bases and grab a few of our little our little bits we have want something else on there um let's see ooh that would be a good base too and here's a little bit of coffee dyed like that. Okay. Um, need to put 
put this like that and then put another little piece of lace on that. Like that. That's a cute one. Okay. Feeling better about my scraps now. That would be fun on there. Um, there's that other piece of brown I had. Yeah, I really don't know how to how to store my stuff other than in a baggie. My um, I mean, the little bits are in there so that I can grab something if I need it, but I would really like to have a way. Oh, how about this one? That was a little more covering up the. Let's do that. Anyway, I just haven't come up with anything. And it's not, I mean, the itty bitty bits can go in my basket, but it's the pieces that are like, you know, like this size and this, you know, that are harder. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at? <laughs> Where are we at with all of our, all of our stuff and things? Um... Looking for like a going about this piece. I was thinking, sorry, I'm probably off camera. I think I'll do that and just have two pieces on that one, and then I'm going to do another one like that. This one. Except that I might need bigger fabric. Um, not really, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just going to do those. Okay, so I have this one. A few fall ones would be kind of nice, wouldn't they? So it's all sort of But let's go here and then let's put this little bit right there. Cute. That will work just fine. Okay. Did that come off of something? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It just got over in there. This is really fun. Look at this side. Um, salvage. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Maybe I need to make like, um, kind of like those paper ones that we were doing that could go down the side of a page. Cause I think that's, I think that's really so fun. Get up there, you little guys. Um, they won't have tabs on them. 
could put a fabric tab on it, I guess. Okay, and then something right there. Uh, about this. And that can go down the side of a page. Ooh, that's just bright and happy. I like that. Okay. And then I think what I'll do is run a little stitch there and then a stitch down here and that'll be that. Okay, well, you know, there goes proof positive. You can do whatever you can do with paper, you can do with fabric. <laughs> do we have anything to use these little guys on? This one's kind of fallish in that it's a leaf. Got a couple of pieces yet over here of the fall colors. And that's nice because I, I am getting excited to do a fall journal. I just don't quite know when I'm going to get it done. <laughs> oh, let's just face it. My list is way longer than the time that I have. And pretty soon it's going to be time to start on Christmas journals. And that's always fun. So, yeah. Look at this. That's kind of cool. A little fuzzy edge off of something. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's put this there. That's a that's a whole bunch of fall colors together. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm about out of time. Yes, I am. So let's just see. We made, we made one, two, three, four, five, oops, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, teeny weeny, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We made sixteen in just that little little bit. And so we have that to sew. We have our page, um, end of the page. We have our belly bands and we have this, our little, um, our little purple piece. So thanks everyone so much for crafting with me. I hope you have an awesome Saturday and have a grateful day. And we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.